Dr. Melvin Morse is a paediatrician specializing in the resuscitation of young children in Seattle, the capital of Washington state. Until eight years ago, he was the straightest of straight scientists, winning awards for his research papers. I had always thought that when you died, you just went into darkness. Near-death experiences to me were something that you would see in a supermarket tabloid, but uh, not uh, worthy of scientific research. What changed your view? Was it just the constant stream of cases you found? No, it was really meeting Crystal Merzlach changed my whole opinion about near-death experiences. It was totally darkness, and then I looked up, and it was a tunnel with a light, you know, just gleaming down from the top. And so I started crawling towards this light to see what it, to see what it was, and suddenly I saw this woman, all dressed in white. She had long dark hair, come towards me. And when she got to me, she picked me up by the hand, and she said, "Crystal, my name is Elizabeth. I'm your guardian angel, and I will help you." Crystal Merslock was larking about at a friend's seventh birthday party when she was accidentally pushed into the deep end. When I fell in the pool, I remember just um, reaching up for the water because I wanted to get air. I, need, I knew I needed to get air. And after I knew I couldn't get air, I just fell unconscious. For three days, Crystal lay in a deep coma. And as she tells it, floated above her own body as the doctors worked to revive her. Once, she found herself wondering if she was dead. The only time that I really remember thinking about it was when... I had a chance to look down on my body on the operating table and I saw the doctors putting things, putting tubes up my nose to help me breathe and down my throat and in my arms and I didn't like it so I just looked away. That's the only time I can remember. When did you see yourself in the operating room? Um, when I was up in heaven. Nine years on, Crystal's experience remains the definitive case. Adults have made similar claims, but always there have been doubts. This witness was a child who even today insists that her mind was not playing tricks on her. Tell me, how can you be sure it wasn't just all a wonderful dream? Well, in my dreams, I hardly ever remember dreams, and when I remember them, they're not very clear to me. But this, this experience I had was as clear as night and day. It's the same as you here talking to me. I mean, I remember it better than anything I've ever remembered in my life. History is full of such stories and full of questions.